<laughs> Under the blue skies of California, there are some soldiers getting a lot of attention for injuries you can't see. They're at the start of a journey which will take them from coast to coast. These are the first steps in the Walk of America, but these veterans have already come a long way from the depths of despair. I lived with uh, guilt, you know, uh, survivor's guilt for, for a long time. I think I kind of put everything away. Before you know it, you're taking 10 hydrocodone a day and, and capping it off with a 12-pack of beer at night. All of these veterans have suffered terribly from the mental trauma of war. But they all sought help to heal, and they are walking now to encourage others to do the same. If we can walk a thousand miles and save one person's life, then we've achieved something. That's it. Roger fans, let's hear it for those veterans. At big events in America, the presence of veterans is very often celebrated. But for the British members of this team, that was a new experience. The Dodgers thank you for your service, sacrifice and dedication. Um, the whole stadium stood up, applaud, you know, um, everyone was shaking their hands while walking up the stairs. People come across, I want to buy with beer guys. You know, uh, you don't get nothing like that in the UK. The veterans were basically, they forgot about, you know what I mean. This group of wounded warriors are picking up support along the way in their mission to highlight what they see as the emergency in veterans' mental health. Government figures here show that on average, 22 veterans take their own lives every day. And those suffering in silence aren't always men. Unfortunately, I don't think a lot of people recognize a female with injuries that I was wounded in combat they automatically assume that I was a car accident or, or they just don't even notice or... There's so many women that are serving in combat every day, but we're barely recognized. I want others to know there are organizations out there that can help them and to seek the help. There's no reason to go years like I did without getting the help and to live miserably. Their journey will end at Ground Zero in New York in September. Between now and then, they want to change how a lot of people think. Geraint Vincent, ITV News, California.